everyone, welcome to the weekly wrap for Education NC. My name is Liz Bell, I'm a reporter at NC. I'm Alex Granado, senior reporter for Education NC. And Alex has been covering so much this week, um, especially here in the General Assembly. Now the week started with Governor Cooper vetoing the General Assembly's budget, correct? Yeah, so last week the House and the Senate uh, both passed uh, their budget compromise and Monday Governor Cooper vetoed it. Um, pointing out a lot of provisions he didn't agree with, but uh, education was a big one. He said that um, what they were doing didn't go far enough and, and that some of what they did were just the wrong strategies to address education in North Carolina. So he vetoed it, and then as the week progressed, uh, the Senate and the House uh, both had the opportunity to override the veto, and they both did override the veto. Um, they, the Republicans had enough votes in both chambers uh, to do so. And now you've also been covering Senate Bill 599, um, a bill from Senator Chad Barefoot um, that would open up um, entities other than colleges and universities to offer educator preparation programs. So what's the latest with that this week? So since this was the last week of the General Assembly, a lot of bills have been going through the different chambers and Senate Bill 599 is one of those. Um, I've written extensively about this. Um, as she said, the bill opens up uh, educator preparation programs to organizations other than universities. And um, this week, uh, that bill was in the House and it passed the House, but the House had added a new provision to the bill. It was a pilot program that would allow uh, certain organizations to start in the state uh, sooner than under the original bill. Uh, this is important because there was one particular organization that had donated to Senator Barefoot's campaign, uh, Teachers of Tomorrow, and they later were trying to get him to change his bill to allow them to come into the state sooner than the bill said they could, or said organizations like theirs could. And uh, he refused to do that, And uh, but in the House, the pilot program essentially set up the circumstances where they could do that. Um, so that bill passed the House, and since they made a change to the bill, it went back to the Senate, and the Senate did not concur. And so a conference committee with members of both chambers met to hash out their differences. And uh, last night, uh, well, two days ago, the Senate uh, accepted the conference report, the compromise that came out of that conference committee. And then last night, the uh, House accepted that conference report, and so the bill now goes to the governor. In that conference report, the two sides had uh, taken out the pilot program, um, reverting the bill back to something more resembling its original form. So then on Thursday, a three-judge panel heard um, the court case between um, the State Board of Education and the State of North Carolina and State Superintendent Mark Johnson. Um, you were also there covering that, so where do we stand on, on that lawsuit? So the three-judge panel heard the case yesterday, and um, they finished up uh, during the day. There was no ruling forthcoming. It could come in the next few days, but really it's going to come whenever they're done deciding the case. The crux of the argument uh, between all the sides was on the plaintiff's side, they said the Constitution of North Carolina gives the State Board of Education the authority to supervise and administer North Carolina public schools. Uh, whereas the uh, state and Mark Johnson side both argued that the Constitution makes the General Assembly the final authority on all education matters and therefore the General Assembly had the authority to do what they did when they passed House Bill 17 transferring some of the State Board's powers to the superintendent. So the legislative session is over maybe earlier than expected for some folks, right? The session is over. It ended last night. Um, it's earlier than expected when compared to uh, some recent previous sessions that went into the fall. Uh, but legislators have been saying for a while that they wanted to end the session right about now. Um, so last night, uh, debate on various bills went in late, late into the night uh, in, in the early morning. But in the early morning, uh, the General Assembly did finish up. Both chambers adjourned. Now the General Assembly is going to come back into session in September, uh, no I'm sorry, August, September and November uh, and uh, they're going to take up issues such as redistricting which uh, if you've been following is a hot topic in North Carolina right now. So you can uh, look for us to be reporting from the General Assembly again in August. Nice, thanks so much for watching and you can find us at ednc.org and you can find me on Twitter at L-L-I-Z-A-V-E. LL.
and you can find me on twitter at agranadister. thanks for listening.